Hello everyone, let's do the Freedom Fighters. We need the sniper rifle uh, to bring us with the loadout uh, coins and uh, the Psyker. Uh, actually, we don't have to have the Psyker, but uh, but uh, rather have it. It's it's way easier to get inside with it. So first, we need to do that. Get our briefcase, and uh, from that, get the sniper rifle out. Shoot that camera over there, and get the briefcase with us, and just move inside the barn. Here, we need to go through this area and uh, drop down at the end of it. Be careful with the cameras not to get seen, and just pass these guards behind and stay here. At this point, we are waiting for our first target to arrive uh, and we're going to kill him over here. We're gonna lure him over this area by building up the tension bar and at the end just uh, duck. Kill that camera over there because we're going to leave after we kill the first target through that window beneath it and we don't want to get seen and we have time uh, as bullets, so just do it. Okay, so there comes our first target and uh, he's going to go to that guard over there at the left and when he's there we're going to step out and wait for him to build up the tension bar. Just zoom in to see when he's watching you. Uh, be careful not to get seen by the guard, only the target. And when he looks at you, the bar gets uh, filled up. When it's at 70-80%, uh, just duck and wait for him to come. Get your briefcase ready, because we're going to knock him out. Uh, not to move too much. Uh, wait for him where he goes, at the right or the left. He goes to the right, you go to the left. Knock him out. And drag him over there. Our silent assassin marker is uh, done because he saw us, but since he's a target, it's fine. We just kill him and we're silent assassin again. Okay, get the briefcase and we're going to leave this area. Go through the window. We need to be quite fast, so uh, don't waste too much time. And our second target is over there. We just do the same, build up the tension bar and duck. Leave the briefcase over here, so she's going to go for it. And we just hide in this uh, place over here. When the target comes inside, she will see the briefcase, go for it, and we have the option to kill him. Kill her. When she leans down, we shoot for the head. Be careful not to shoot her outside of the window. Uh, we don't want that. And hide the body uh, in this place. Okay, we need the briefcase and just leave through the window. And we go to the right. Just uh, kind of rush it, but uh, when the tension bar fills up, don't, don't run that fast. They are quite far away, but uh, you never know. At this point, uh, you should be running uh, because they won't hear you, but uh, the time is running out for the third target. Uh, so be aware that uh, we need to do this on time. Uh, just slow down here, it rather words uh, the time because otherwise they might notice you, then uh, you're screwed. So we're going for the third target, who's there in the shed, or that building over there. And uh, be careful again with running, because this is master's mode. Uh, and then we just go and uh, at this area we can save the game because it's gonna be tricky. Toss a coin over there in the bushes and with the briefcase we are going to knock out this guard. But first we go at his position. There is a, a switching table and we just uh, switch off the light. Uh, and at this point our target is going to leave soon the building but that guard over there tries to investigate the area. When he goes outside, we go inside, through the window, shoot the target, 
as fast as we can and hide the body in this box over here. Then pick up everything he'll uh, drop down. Uh, there should be a basement key, which we need. Uh, if you don't pick it up, it's not a big deal, but uh, rather pick it up. And when the guard is uh, going back inside, we just go outside and uh, pick up the stuff we dropped, the coin and the briefcase. Now comes the psyker. We need to shoot these two targets. Uh, the first one is easy to shoot. The second one is be careful. There is a fence over there. So uh, you might be shooting the fence and uh, thus screwing up your run because uh, you have two bullets in this gun. So when they go to go and throw up and that guard over there at the left of the well uh, turns around like this, just jump over here and go straight through the window of, uh, I mean door of the main door. And when these hackers are not watching, we can just open this door with the uh, basement key we had. Be careful with this guard. He is sometimes in different positions. Uh, so wait for him to move, then knock him out with your briefcase. Yeah, he's doing some weird flexes, but uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll knock him out. And then with your sniper rifle, just bust open this door and uh, take your briefcase, put it at the end of the staircase and uh, get the coins. And we place a few coins over here. The last target will come to this area and uh, notice the coins, uh, then notice the briefcase and with that we're going to have an opportunity to kill her. She's quite far away, uh, so yeah, we have a lot of time to pick up another basement key and hide the body in the box over there. Actually no one comes here, but uh, why not? We get a lot of points, like 25, which is massive. Uh, here is a nice mirror, you can watch yourself aiming to yourself, uh, look at 47, he's really really good looking, doesn't even look like a hitman, uh, not at all, and we have this red dot we can point on ourselves, uh, which I didn't realize we have a laser pointer, but it looks like we have or something. Okay, so the target comes, uh, she's quite OCD, uh, and uh, goes for the main clock of the of the house. There is there's a, a big clock over there and watches it for a while and uh, you can trigger her old CD if you tamper with the clock or stuff but um, it's fine. We just wait for her to see the coins. And when she moves from the clock and sees the coin, then uh, comes for the second coin, then uh, she'll notice our briefcase. Then she comes to the end of the staircase where we have the best option to kill her. Just shoot her in the neck, head or whatever you choose and drag the body away not to get seen. Uh, if somebody comes to this basement area. Get the briefcase, get the coins and wait for the guards to leave this area. They don't see their guard <laughs> target but uh, anyway they are bad guards. Then uh, come up to the uh, next floor and wait for the guard there outside to uh, not see you. You can just hide behind this uh, area over here. And with that done, uh, when the guards leave the area, be careful with the tension bar. We can just go and uh, when the hackers are not watching, uh, we're going to uh, copy a face of our target, the first target, because that's the security key for the basement. And we will do some cleanup with the guard, 
because uh, it's a really pain that uh, when they walk away. So with your lockpick, just open this door or if you have the key and knock out this guard. And uh, we can hide the body. No one will come, but uh, we can hide the body. And when that guard over there comes, uh, we can just knock him out as well in this room, hide him and uh, we have a cleaner place to do the, the mask printing which is uh, time-consuming and uh, there are free hackers over there so yeah okay so just toss a coin inside and wait for the guard to come then smash the subdue button and uh, get him inside yeah snitch him subdue him and hide it in the closet as well because it's 25 points as well, so why not? The more points, the bigger the level we have, which is good. Okay, so get the briefcase if you wish and uh, the coin we need. We can hide the guns by picking up both of them and then uh, we get this coin over here as well because we need a lot of coins to uh, distract the uh, the hackers so get the briefcase and when the hackers are not watching just uh, get the coin and toss it over there thus they will all look over there when this guy on the left is not looking we just go and uh, copy the face mask and quickly leave the area before they see you because they turn around. Okay, uh, then we can just uh, come back here. At this place it's safe. Uh, and when the printing is done, we need another uh, distraction with the coins. And we need to stitch the copied face mask. So at this point they are again not looking, get the coin, toss one over there, we can toss another one over there, when the first guy goes over and wait for him to not look over the here, and that's it, go for the mask, then leave the area, wait for him not to see you, when he leans down, you can leave the area. And with that said and done, we go to the basement. And leave with the only option we have through the uh, tornado shelter or whatever this is. Inside we need to uh, get some clues, which is right over here. Uh, and here and the third one will be at the computer so just do all three of them otherwise you can't leave the area after that it's free to leave and that's it silent assassin sniper assassin suit only on masters movie it's really not uh, easy at the third target and at the mass printing but hope you had fun see you next time bye bye